Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 119 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. And in today, we're gonna fiddle around with some integrated dynamics, and hopefully, things will go well. <laughs> anyway, um, I have been busy doing stuff. Um, let me show you what I've come up with so far. We go boo. Um, so far, I've got uh, got this little doodad hooked up uh, with a redstone reader and a redstone writer. So the system knows that this is emitting a signal by lighting up this lamp. Um, and I place down redstone writers all along the interfaces. <laughs> and uh, exporters um, so uh, all I have to do is basically hook up cables to that and it should turn on but I'm not ready to do that yet <laughs> what I want to do is put um, some detectors down here some readers, some inventory readers, like this, onto all of the machines, and uh, have it detect when there's an item in there. As long as there's one item, I want it to uh, turn off our interfaces or exporters. So that it only has one item in there. That way, if the system shuts down, each of the individual machines won't have like a whole stack of something in there. It'll only have one item to burn off instead of, you know, 64. So to me, that sounds that sounds much better. So um, hopefully, this this works um, the way. then uh, we should have like little a mini system to regulate each individual machine. And then uh, the detector up there to shut it off if things get too low. Um, and I was thinking I could even add more detectors to the system. Um, and that way if any item goes low, uh, it will shut off because all it needs is a redstone signal. I, um, like I guess I could put uh, different readers uh, by a detector for each machine and set up each one to detect. It could work. Uh, but now I know this works. Uh, once I get it all hooked up, we can get it to detect when each individual item is low. Uh, but I just want to make sure this works <laughs> uh, first. Um, uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll hook one of these guys up and then see if it works right. Uh, but I also want to see if I can reuse these variable cards. I'm not 100% certain. Um, so I think what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to have what I've noticed with these um, readers and writers is that if you look, um, I'm just getting the programmer uh, default here. When I try to click on this, it won't do anything unless there's like a cable attached to it. And when you click on it, you get the inventory reader. Uh, so we want to use the inventory not empty one. Let me see. Yes, it will. Okay. <laughs> so if the inventory is not empty, come over here. Oh, we gotta put 
the cable on it uh, for it to work, then emit a redstone signal. Right now, um, the inventory is not empty, so it's true. So it's emitting a redstone signal, uh, which should um, activate this little guy and say, hey, I, you can have a piece. <laughs> and then hopefully once it gets an item in there, it will shut it off. And um, maybe I think uh, it might get two in there, like if there's one in here already and it shuts off, it might go ahead and send that one. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, come up here. Which one did we do? I can't tell. Is it you? Yeah. Okay, so let's um, let's <laughs> simulate that this thing has turned on by changing the redstone mode and then we'll put it back on only work with redstone mode only work with redstone signal whoa <laughs> that is crazy i did not know it would do that um but it's burning them up very quickly but it, all right Oh no, it's got way more in there. It's not working. <laughs> okay, I thought I told you only work with redstone signal. Um, yeah, that's not working. Okay, now it's working. Um, I think it just had something in there. I messed it up. Or did my... Oh no, I need to... Yeah, I did that backwards, I think. If there's an, an item in there, we want it to not... Mm. I think I'm thinking this backwards. Um, it works with the redstone signal. I could, um, I could just change it, um, how it's activated over here so that I can get it to, um, 
only work without a redstone signal. Uh-huh. See, it might get two in there occasionally. Okay, but that's the thing, is once it receives a redstone signal, I want it to shut off. So we're going to disable this by saying only work with a redstone signal, but then it's going to work it. No. 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 <laughs> it doesn't like behaving. Okay. Um, so once, uh, once we get everything hooked up, and this emits a redstone signal when it's able. Um, uh, then it should work properly. So I don't need to invert this one. Yes, I do. need to invert that one um, because I need to invert this guy so that um, he will emit a signal when under the amount. So under the amount will shut it off. Redstone will shut it off instead of turning it on. Um, Should, that should do it once we get this hooked up. I just gotta do this for all, all of all 16 of them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook all these up just like that. Um, and then I will be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, all of these should now detect if there's an item and emit a redstone signal. If there is shutting off uh, the doodads. Um, now, theoretically, I should be able to um, Turn this on and it should insert one item in there. Um, but what I want to do is before I change each of the um, exporters, um, I want to get this hooked up to there. That way if this gets low, it will shut it off by emitting a redstone signal. Because um, I don't want to run any of them unless all of them can run. Uh, so let's get our cable out. I might actually need more logic cable. I hope I set that up. <laughs> um, let's see, did I get some cable? Yes. Yes, it's on Autocraft. Okay. Just in case. Uh, so, I want to, I think, do it this way. I wanted to come up here and connect to those. that one last that way everything be together happily I want to leave 
this part open. That connects them all. Um, so if I put one here, it should connect it up, uh, which shouldn't, it shouldn't, oh, actually it should. Okay, so it should be on, but it's not because I have to go and change each individual one to actually turn it on. And it should come on because the die is not low. <laughs> Once it gets low, it should emit signal, which should shut everything off, in theory. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think I want to get like a uh, another reader, another redstone reader. Redstone reader. That way it'll be like an emergency cutoff system or something. Um, let's see, put you there. On you, and then put a redstone reader here. And that way we can emit a redstone signal uh, manually to shut it off. If it's not working right, we can come and shut it off. Uh, that's what I want. Emergency cutoff system. Um, so if I flip this, it should actually emit a redstone signal, which will turn everything on right now. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, say only work without a redstone signal. Oh! Oh boy. Okay, so now if I flip this, it should shut off everything, uh, but it should still burn through the coal. See, these uh, take a long time to burn through. What's something fast? Uh, the crime. Yeah, it's only got one more. Oh no. Okay, what's it gonna do? Is it gonna put more in? That one's, that one burns a lot longer. Let's go over to the pink dye. Yeah, it's still sending stuff in. Let's see. 
Um, Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I've come up with a solution uh, to the problem with our uh, inventory readers. I'm changing the burial card from inventory not empty to inventory empty. And that should uh, emit a pulse when the inventory is empty Turning it on, sending one item in, uh, maybe sometimes two if it goes really fast, <laughs> uh, but it uh, should give me the results I'm looking for, and we're almost done. Got a couple more to convert. Um, I may have to initially empty these out as well. Um, see, sometimes it gets two in there, and I already did that one. About you? Oh yeah, I need to get one of these books. Uh, I have to do that with the other one as well. Uh, I need to. Black was this. Uh, book and only allow uh, regular books to get taken out. Okay, that has stabilized. Get you guys back in there. And okay, that was this one. Oh, we just got a couple more to go. Convert you guys over. Redstone, excellent. Last one. Actually, I think there might be one more. Maybe. Uh oh, did I do you? Yes, okay. That was it. Uh, so that part is set up. Did I check you guys? Yeah, you still have a bunch. And you still have a bunch. Um, that way, all of these inventories will only have one or two items in there when it shuts down. Instead of 64. Um, I do believe they'll just keep putting items in. Okay. Now, um, it's on and it's working. signal went over the amount because it only works with a redstone signal I'm just trying to think if that's actually working or not. Um, 
because each individual system is going to emit a signal when the inventory is empty, which will turn that one specifically on for just a second to allow another thing to come through. Conundrum. <laughs> um, okay, I will have to work on this some more, but I still say it's a success because we got it regulated with the dye. Um, I may have to go and remove each one from the system and allow it to just eat up that stack of each individual item. I just wish there was a way I could only allow one item. I'm sure there is. I'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> um, but this is pretty neat. Um, I'm just not familiar enough with uh, the mod to know all the tips and tricks. Um, but yeah, we got that. Uh, also, I got one of the potions automated. I need to set up the other one. Um, which, where are you? I need to set up this guy uh, to make what potion was it? Uh, strength, I think. Strength potion. Splash potion of strength. Um, it's the one we need to set up right here. We just need to tell it up here. Um, yeah, I think it's basically the same as uh, the swiftness, but with a blaze powder instead. Since strength blaze. Okay, okay, that we can do. Um, so go back down. Actually, no, not yet. Not yet. We put another wart, a blaze powder, a gunpowder. Oh, is this. This is the strength, too. Okay. Then it needs glowstone. And then that will make us. Can't, can't drag from over there. Splash. So we need the splash version. Splash potion of strength. Oh, it's processing. Duh. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, actually put that there and that there. And now, do the potion of strength. Bada bing, bada boom. And Sam. Okay, so put you in here. Um, now we gotta automate uh, the bringing in of the items. But we also, before we do this, we want to put these guys in and lock them. Uh, so that they only come in this order. Hopefully the 
it will wait until it gets the first one. Um, yes, so what do we got here? We have two exporters on the sides, and then I think an importer in the back and a crafter on the top. Uh, so we want our input from the top, which is the brewing input, so we want to disable it from everywhere else. <laughs> that way it doesn't accidentally put um, these items up here or these items down here. Okay, so um, the blaze input we want uh, from the left. And also, we want the bottle input on the left. Uh, the reason we gotta do that is because we need a separate exporter for the water. Um, and the water will input on the right. Okay, so now we gotta do is set that up. Oh, and the output which is the importer, uh, we need to blacklist a splash potion of strength so that it doesn't accidentally take that out. So blacklist that and then, uh, actually we need to whitelist that. Whitelist that, only take out this potion. So that's good. Um, so the output can only go to the back. Got it. Um, so now we need to set up the right guy to do the fluids and get the water in. And it should, uh, these should all fill up, but it shouldn't make until I turn this uh, back on. Uh, so now we need to add our blaze powder and the bottles. And there we go. Okay, so um, once we turn this on, it should automatically fill up the, with the water bottles. Ignored. Okay. Should fill up the water bottles, but it shouldn't run because it it's got to be crafted. So get you out of there. Um, if we ask for the potion now, it should just automatically make it. Bizarre. Um, that will come in handy because I still need to make um, these modules for my bow. Do, do, do. We can get rid of all this stuff. wanted to do the velocity uh, because I already have a bunch of uh, damage modifiers. 
and these do a lot less inaccuracy. Um, oh, you can only have eight of these installed, whereas you can have unlimited damage. Okay, um, that's good to know. So we need six more of these. Um, I'm glad I looked at that first. Um, So we want six more of these velocity modules. Oh no, I'm missing awakened draconian nuggets. Uh, okay, I need just to teach that real quick. Uh, not a processing order. Awakened draconian. already had the, the potions. Oh, those took the speed potions, and I think I played with it a bit. Uh, so it had potions already. Uh, but, yeah, let's get those guys in. Um, you. Oh, that was only four. Four, I thought it was eight or six. Oh, it's probably got to wait for the potion. Yeah, that's three. It's hard to tell the number because the arrow uh, feathers are like right there. So it looks like an eight, even though I think it's a three. Uh, so it should, oh, okay, there we go, that's what we wanted, and our, what is our, inaccuracy is up to 50%, uh, so I think we definitely want to get another accuracy Maybe two. Uh, two would get our accuracy down to ten. I'm not a hundred percent certain. We got two hundred nineteen max attack damage. Yeah, I think I want to hit. <laughs> I want to hit with that for sure as often as possible um, and then I think if we make three we could then have enough to fill in these other four with damage so um, let's see do I have the accuracy did I miss? I never set that up okay there and then oops that's not what I wanted uh, put you there so this one doesn't take a potion but it does take a target uh, which we can teach so I don't think it knows the target. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good job. Uh, so now let's do our accuracy. Wyvern. Yeah, we definitely want the draconic. So 
three of those. Awesome. Done. I want the chassis. Boop, boop, and boop. And then we need four more damage. Okay, I only set the potion part of that up, I guess. Um, and it knows those, but we need to teach it this. Yes, and it does see that it can make um, those potions. Boop and a boop. And where, where are you? Start and start. Uh, this one, it should have to wait for the potions. Um, because I didn't have any. go. There we go. Um, should have made three, I thought, at a time. Okay, is it caught up or anything? Looks like it's scheduled. It sees that it's processing that. It's just been processing it for quite some time. Um, doesn't, yeah, there it goes. There's one. I may need to put some uh, upgrades into those machines um, to speed up the process. Boop, 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 and a boop. <laughs> 250 damage. Nice. Um, that is pretty darn nice. Um, also, I wanted to go ahead and get the undying module. Hmm. I believe I set it up to do the chaotic one autocraft. So I should be able to say, boom, give me one of those. Oh, I gotta make the totem of undying. I didn't teach it the totem of undying. Um, let's do that real quick. Oh, because I need bucket life for that. I think do this, do that, do that, do that. Um, uh, now we need to go out to the blood point. Let me get a bucket. some out here from last time. This should just take a second. Um, what is 
Let's see. Caught on. Oh no, it can't it can't make that. <laughs> um It probably just threw all five of them up here. No? Look, it's got everything perfect. Why are you not? Did you not go? It's still in here. Why did you not go? I guess if it, oh, because I didn't, I didn't add the filter for it. Okay, so, filter, item stack, large chaos fragment, um, channel green. Okay, so now if I put this in here, it should go and it should start. Okay, it is. <laughs> Whew, crisis averted. Um, but I don't know that it will always work. Um, I did hook up this little doodad to cut it off if there's an item in the inventory. So it should force all the other ones up into the um, injectors, theoretically, <laughs> theoretically. Um, okay. Now do you have one dying? Yes. Oh, that is super cool and awesome. Oh, that's in my chest. There you go. And you can have three once you get to chaotic tier. So that will be awesome. I'll be able to um, hopefully go kill the dragon. I think what I might do as well um, is eat one of those. Um, insanium apples that way um, it gives me more buffs and I think it's like eight minutes for all the buffs um, it's like insanium, insanium apple you hold shift to, oh it's three minutes uh, still still not bad um, Oh, I might not be able to do, I don't know if you can eat that unless you're hungry. I'm not sure. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to switch over to the uh, draconic eating module, but I guess I can do that later. Anyway, <laughs> I've been going on long enough. Uh, we're gonna have to end the episode here thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye